Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this special episode of Dratnos' Minecraft Technic Pack Let's Play. So today we're designing our automatic item distribution thing. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and get started with that. This, uh, the first blue pipe there is a teleport pipe. It's going to be our input. We're going to teleport items to it from other places. This diamond pipe here that I'm now filling up is basically a filter system. It's, uh, it's very good. It lets you take items in any direction you want. You get eight of them for one diamond and, uh, or for two diamonds and, no, for one diamond and two glass. No, two diamond and one glass. Okay. So it's at a ratio of four diamonds per, or four pipes per diamond. Not bad, considering how useful these pipes are. They'll let you sort things and make them go in different directions, like so. Pretty good. The, uh, the do two other types of pipes, the light blue, or the light gray and the dark gray, are different types of stone pipes, cobblestone and cooked stone, respectively. They let items travel through them at different speeds. Or, well, at the same speed, actually, but the ones will, they'll, they'll retain higher speeds for longer in the stone one. Okay, we need to get some clay because I actually need some clay drops to sort here. So we're going to go ahead and just jump down out of our spaceship here, get some clay quickly, and head back up. Up we go, and into the ship. Okay, so basically we're going to want to sort everything from our input and then process some other things. So these are all things that don't need to be processed. Our main objective here is to get them to their chests while taking up as little of this downstairs room as possible because we need much of it for the processing. That's smelting and macerating. Macerating is added by the Industrial Craft mod. It basically lets you uh, double your profits from an item. You can take an iron ore, macerate that into two iron dust, and then smelt each of those to iron ingots. So it's a very good way to, uh, to get double the amount of ingots from your ore. Okay, so we're just uh, setting up some secondary sorting here. Just gonna move everything to the right spot, which is, uh, this is all pretty basic. The, the lighter colored pipes are iron pipes. They're basically one-way pipes. I shouldn't be using them there. Um, yeah, or shouldn't be using it there as well. Okay, cool. So we need to get everything to the right place using uh, pipes. You could do this so many different ways, actually. You could do this with the red power mod as well. I know it has some very similar functionality and is actually probably a bit cooler but I know build craft and industrial craft a bit better, so I'm gonna use them today. I'm also gonna give you guys this save file. It's gonna be in the description below, a link to download from Mediafire probably. So this, uh, this little wing here is where I'm gonna want stone to go, and up there is where I want clay to go. So let's just go ahead and set up clay that way, and we'll also go ahead and set up stone that way. And we need a diamond pipe there, but we also want it to be a bit higher than too high so that we can still walk across. Now that's not the right place to put it. That is also really bad. I should really not have been not have done either of those. Luckily, I have seen the error of my ways here, and we'll go ahead and build it up there. Perfect. Now we can put an, a diamond pipe that sends coal, uh, clay the right way and di and stone. Sorry, stone into this room here, which is the stone room. It's also um, it's got five chests, so I want it to distribute stone randomly to one of those five chests. The way I'm going to do that is just have an offshoot into five different directions of our pipe here. Uh, I'm going to experiment a bit because I've, I've gotten a bit rusty with the different pipes here. I don't want... The, the way it is right now is wrong. I'm going to fix that very very shortly. If I need a wrench quickly just so that I can uh, create... This is a crafting table too, by the way. It's uh, basically a, a modified crafting table that's added by a different Technic mod. It's really good. It's really cool. Okay, so here's how I want it to actually work. I want iron pipes on the top so that things don't go back that way. And we'll send this, the uh, some stone that way, some stone this way. The reason that I'm using some cobblestone pipes and some stone pipes is because when a cobblestone pipe is next to a cobblestone pipe, they link. And when a stone pipe is next to a stone pipe, they link. But when a cobblestone pipe is next to a, a stone pipe, they don't link. So if you use both, you can be a bit more compact because you can have them right next to each other. Now, I've gone ahead and just pushed out our wall a little bit there because I thought I needed the space. Turns out I actually don't. There's a, there's a way I could have gotten around that uh, pretty easily, but and I'm, I'm about to actually discover that now here because I don't want to lower down the floor, which would be the solution, so the, the, uh, the way I did it before. So we'll go ahead and actually have another iron pipe there, and this way we can be a much more have a much more compact machine. And there we go. Okay, everything's going the right way. We'll just uh, go ahead and make sure that all the iron pipes are facing the right way. 
stick in a new one, and leave that area be, and we want stone to go the red way. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, now, what do we want where? I think we've got all the, all the stuff that doesn't need processing sorted. And stone, yeah, okay, let's just fill everything up so that we have some more inventory space. So the next thing we're going to need to do is... Uh, of course, okay, we still have some stuff that doesn't need to be processed and just needs to be sorted. Namely, mob drops, marble, and nickelite and redstone. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and prepare to process those. Now, strictly speaking, I probably don't need this mob drops chest at all in this machine. Because the machine is designed to just process what a quarry gives out. And uh, quarry shouldn't be quarrying any mobs. But... Uh, I've added that anyway, and if it if it goes unused, okay, that's fine. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, have our, our mob stuff go up top, and actually let's take the other two mob things to go ahead and clear up our inventory a bit by putting some stuff in their respective spots, and get the mob stuff. Oops, I have put a, a torch up there that I've now tried very valiantly to remove and succeeded in doing so eventually. The other mob stuff go that way. Ignore what I'm about to do, it's really bad. I fix it later, but it, it's really bad. It's so bad. This is absolutely terrible. This 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 is very wrong. This is the wrong way to build this thing. Ignore this part. That is that is very wrong. You you don't want to be yeah, that is so bad. That is incredibly bad. Okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Okay? Sound sound good? Great. Okay. We'll go ahead and fix it up later as soon as I realize the mistake that I've made. But for now, assuming that that works properly and directs all 11 of those items because we reached the limit of nine on one filter, so we had to add another filter for these chests. And we'll go ahead and just do some secondary level sorting here so that they all go to the right chests. We want marble going one way, nickelite and redstone going another way, and mob drops going the third way, which uh, we'll go ahead and add. Yeah, it's, uh, that'll be down, okay. And mob drops, of course. All of these, luckily we do have less than nine mob drops. We have eight, which means that we won't need a, a secondary exit there, which would have been a bit of a pain. So that is, okay, not too bad, not too shabby. Nice. Now this is our, um, this is for things that are going to need to be processed. Basically everything that hasn't already been sorted is going to go this way, towards that little offshoot that I've just built. I'm going to go ahead and clear up some in inventory space. And head back down there. So, we're going to need two different processing machines. We need an, a furnace, an electric furnace in this case, and a macerator, which basically, is, as I mentioned before, doubles your profits from things. So, we'll go ahead and power them up from, uh, from our battery box up there, which is powered by solar panels outside, and using glass fiber cable. Go ahead and stick them each above a bit so that we have a bit more access to the underneath of them. Cool, cool. And we need this to split then, and some of it to go to the macerator. I have slightly goofed again there. I'm going to figure out all of my goofs very quickly. So this is actually, I'm, I'm going to quickly test the system with some obsidian pipes. Basically the way obsidian pipes work is that if you uh, throw something in them, then it, uh, it'll be caught up by the pipe. So if I drop, for example, some iron ore into it, or some silver ore, or some gold ore. Oops. Actually, let's take two of each of these for reasons I'll mention later. First off, let's imprint them properly so that this test will actually mean something. And if we head up here, oops, if we can climb a ladder, we can, yes, we can climb the ladder. Well done, Dratnips. Okay. Throw in the iron ore, take a look at, at how it goes. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it goes. Oh, there it was. Okay. So we've got a, we've, we've goofed here. We, we've goofed. And here's our goof. We didn't want... Yeah, there there it is. Fixed, 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 fixed. We don't, we, we don't want to double connect to that, uh, to that input, input pipe. That is a bad idea. I was absolutely incorrect for doing that before. In future, I might sink that input into the floor so that it can't be messed with like that. Because it shouldn't be messed with like that. Okay. So let's add a bit more length here so that we have a bit of a fuse and can get downstairs before everything is, uh, is gone. Okay, where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It still went ahead of us, didn't it? Yeah, it did. There's nothing in there. Okay. Let's uh, let's have a look. Where'd it go? Yeah, okay. It got into the macerator, but into the wrong slot. So we need to actually have our input go into the top of the macerator. Luckily enough, even though the macerator is added by industrial craft and the uh, pipes are added by build craft, 
they interact very well together, and so that you can set up things so that they go into the right slots of items, or of, uh, of inventories, as it were. Okay, that should uh, help us save that space a little bit, and... Okay, not quite. Let's, uh, let's just approach it from this side, then. There it is. Nice. Alright, now... If we go ahead and run that test again... Get downstairs quickly. There it goes. There goes the iron ore. Slows down. Because it lost the initial velocity of throwing it in the uh, obsidian pipe. And in it goes to the macerator, where it should start. Yeah, there it is. It's macerating. Nice. Nice. Our machine is working. I'm going to take a delicious drink of Dr. Pepper here. Ah, mm. oh, that's good. Okay, cool. There it is. There's um, there's our stuff. So we're just going to take a few of the items here. The dust especially as well. So that we can imprint the diamond pipes correctly. So that everything can be sorted. Those, that's the only reason I'm actually taking those items right now. We need some wooden pipes here and engines. So that we can actually suck things out of the uh, macerator and the electric furnace. So the way a wooden pipe works is that when it's given power by a build craft engine. It will suck items out of the inventory it's next to. Um, there it is. So there's our redstone engine. Okay. Nice. And we'll get some redstone torches to power the redstone engines. Oops. Shouldn't be there. Should be out here. And with the wooden pipe there. There it is. You see it's pulling the uh, gold ore out of the machine. Good o. Now we need to do the same on the opposite side. Unfortunately, we don't have another piston, so we're going to have to... Oh, okay. Actually... Let's do the macerator first, then. You know best, Dratnos. Sure. Yeah. Totally make what I was saying irrelevant. So the macerator, some of the stuff that comes out of the macerator needs to go straight back up to the top. Uh, or straight up to the top. The tin and copper. Because I don't want to smelt tin, tin, and, co tin and copper, necessarily. Because uh, you can combine tin and copper dust to make bronze, and I might want to do that some of the time. So because of that, I'm just going to send them straight up. But then other things that I macerate, like iron, gold, and silver, I am going to want to smelt 100% of the time. Therefore, I am going to reroute them back to this electric furnace over there. So this is the; These are the things that only need to be macerated and don't need to be smelted. Everything is going the right way. Sweet. Now, gold, iron, and silver all needs to go back and get smelted again. Go ahead and just uh, put some stuff back where it belongs so we have a bit more space in our inventory. And they all need to go over towards this electric furnace. But the electric furnace also needs to accept input from the other side, from things that need to be uh, just smelted and not macerated. Namely sand and basalt. Sand and basalt don't need to be macerated, but do need to be smelted. So we'll go ahead and send them immediately, straight bypassing the macerating, straight to the electric furnace this way. And using our iron pipe up there, we get to, uh, to do that without much trouble at all. Very, very... Elegant little design there, if I do say so myself. I'm sure there's way better ways that it could be done, way more compact ways that it could be done. But this is my way, and I'm the person making the video. Therefore, it's the best way ever. Cool. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and build ourselves up the, uh, the extra thing we need. The extra engine. There it is, for the other side. And, oops, we've managed to be slightly off. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, Stick our redstone there, and for consistency's sake, we'll do the same on the other side. And we want this outputting this way so that it doesn't feed up above. And out it comes. Okay, nice. So this is for the stuff that's been smelted. That is iron, silver, copper. Um, wait, no. Iron, silver, gold, sand, which is now glass, and basalt. Cobblestone, which is now basalt. Okay, so there's the, the glass being rooted to the correct place. The iron should get rooted that way to the correct place. Nice. And we need to root the gold to the correct place, which is up there. Or, and by gold, in this case, I mean silver. We'll go ahead and smelt some meat quickly in the furnace and put it there. Nice. It should go this way. Cool. The salt needs to go that way. And gold needs to go that way. All right, let's uh, let's send everything their correct ways. We have to do a little bit of little bit of smudging so that every pipe interacts well with the correct with the neighbor pipes. And by interact well, I mean it needs to not connect. So there that goes. That's uh, heading up there, and uh, I believe that's our system built. It's got a few bugs in it that I will work out in the next few minutes. But otherwise, there it is. 
Uh, this is taking about 45 minutes of my time because we're now 15 minutes into this video and I sped it up three times. So that's that. We'll go ahead and this is our miscellaneous pipe. We'll call it, uh, we'll set it to frequency 404 for pipe not, or for block not found. And anything that doesn't work, doesn't go anywhere else, will go to this miscellaneous pipe, which will then go up to the miscellaneous chest there. That's another teleportation pipe we're using there because I didn't want to have to snake a pipe all the way back to the start. Okay, let's go ahead and fill up all these chests, clear up our inventory a bit, and uh, and run a few stress tests on this uh, on this here machine of ours. Delightful machine. Yes, quite. It is indeed a machine. So let's see how that works. There goes the copper. Nice. And the copper then goes to the macerator. Is it going to the macerator? Can it do it? Yes, okay, it was going to the macerator. And it'll it'll eventually get to that chest there. Okay, let's uh, let's test some dirt and stone, make sure they all go to the right places. Let's fill the let's get rid of the pipes because we don't need them right now, except for one teleport pipe when we do a stress test of this with the quarry. Alright, um, this problem right here we're about to encounter is that, that the macerator is currently full. This won't actually happen very frequently at all when in in usual use, and it's not like it'll because because quarries mine one thing at a time, right? So it, it won't it, it it shouldn't handle stacks like I tried to make it there. In which case, so in that case, so that that error we saw there where things are going to pop out, isn't frequently going to happen at all. Isn't going to happen frequently. It is going to happen slightly, I think. I'm sure that there's a way to fix that though. If you happen to know it, let me know. Um, also, it's only ever going to happen to gold at worst. It won't happen to diamond or any of the other expensive gems because they don't get processed at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our quarry now while we're uh, waiting on some of the stress tests to make sure everything got in the right place. Needed to use some diamonds to make diamond gears and we'll go ahead and repair our diamond pickaxe in this alchemical chest with the talisman of repair. Nice. Cool, all right, there's our recipe. We're gonna go ahead and with not enough items, just put a ghost of it in the crafting table. You've probably seen me do that before this episode and in other episodes, it's a great little method you can use. Just mouse over and you hit R for the recipe of something and U for the uses of something, which is the things it's an input for. Okay, so there's our, we need to make a steam engine, which means we need some glass, but uh, the basalt that we put in earlier hasn't seemed to come out yet, which is a red flag. So where'd the basalt go? All right, it got, they're fine, but okay, there's a problem. There's our problem. There it is. Um, so how'd the basalt end up there? That's a good question. Let's go ahead and uh, go up and fix that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the error looks like. Okay, so it ended up in the miscellaneous chest for some reason, which uh, is weird. It is indeed weird. It is very weird. Ah, there it was. Okay, we had the iron pipe up there wrong. And that was causing things to go through this me mechanism twice because it would go back to the start and then bounce to the front and that would cause it then to sometimes go to the missile to the uh, miscellaneous pipe that shouldn't happen now again nice okay problem solved we'll have our stuff now go through here and up straight to the correct place nice okay well done problem solved fixed let's go ahead and uh put some more basalt in there to do a bit of a stress test and in a bit, we'll go ahead and check back and make sure that all the basalt got to the right place. But it should be coming through there. Yeah, now it is. Okay. Wait, no. There's our problem. Okay. We had the basalt cobblestone in there when it was coming out at that stage as smelted basalt. So now it should all be working. And if we watch this long enough, that should bump up to seven soon. Okay, maybe not. Doesn't have to. I was probably pressuring it by, by saying that. Go ahead and wait a bit and uh, just prepare our steam engine for our quarry. All right, and get ourselves a redstone torch to make that steam engine work. Because steam engines in Buildcraft require both coal and uh, redstone power to work. All right, we're just going to remove some torches here. This is the area we're going to quarry out from above. So let's put our quarry down, our steam engine down, and our redstone down behind it with charcoal in the steam engine. And there goes the quarry. It's gonna send out this little uh, probe thing to zap all the blocks in the inside of this box. It's gonna take a little while to do that, but uh, it should work after that. 
So as far as channel things go, this is a special episode of our Technic Pack Let's Play. This is the first time you're seeing this. Uh, you should check out the other episodes, they're pretty cool. I am slightly biased because I made them, but I think they're cool. You should check them out, they're awesome. If you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, you should subscribe so that you can be notified when new videos come out. You should also like this video if you liked it, and dislike this video if you disliked it. I'm a fan of honesty. Um, some people have been asking me to do a few things. First off, some people want me to do mod spotlights on mods that aren't in the Technic Pack. I'm more than willing to do this, and I, I think I'll start doing that. I'm, I, I don't know when, but I plan on doing that at some point. Um, that seems like fun. So if you have any ideas for specific mods that you want me to review, um, send them my way. Send, me, send them to me by, via YouTube PM, and I'll add them to the list of things to check out. Also, some people want me to do the Technic Spy Blo Skyblock Adventure Map, which is basically, you know, the, the famous Skyblock Survival Map. It's basically that with the Technic Pack. So that would be quite fun to do, actually. I, I'd be very much uh, down to do that at some point. I also don't know when. I think I'll focus on doing this series mostly for the next few weeks, at least, until we get maybe a bit more towards the mid-game of the Technic Pack. Okay, so the probe is pretty much done clearing all the stuff out of the way here, and now it starts building the frame of the quarry. Steam engine is still working fine there. It's going a bit faster now, but uh, it sh I don't think it'll get to a point where it'll explode. If it does explode, then I will have been proven wrong. All right, so we'll just attach a, uh, a sending teleportation pipe to our quarry there so that it ports things up to our spaceship, which is uh, the desired result. If we didn't use teleportation pipes, we'd have to snake a pipe all the way from this quarry up to our spaceship which would very much limit what we could do. Okay. Frame's almost finished. So if you want this for yourself in your world, I'm going to upload the world save of this to Mediafire, and it'll be in the description below. I think I've already mentioned that, but I'll mention it again. So if you, if you want to see this machine working, just check that and download it, and um, you need to have the Technic Pack installed but then you put it in your dot .technic pack saves folder. Okay, up we go. There's our delightful quarry working there. And up we go into our spaceship. Let's go ahead and look. Yeah, there comes the basalt. And everything is working uh, swimmingly, very swimmingly. Everything is going the right way. There's our woods that was from one of those trees going one way, dirt going another way, basalt going this way see it's coming out of the electric furnace and, and being smelted properly everything's everything is working great so our machine is now pretty much automated the only thing that requires input is um the steam engine for the quarry but basically we could leave the ship now and just go to the quarry and uh, be secure in knowing that until the chests overflow this machine is going to work for us now the things that are going to overflow first are probably going to be dirt uh but actually because dirt Dirt will only be a problem for the first few layers of your quarry, and then, then it'll start being stone. And luckily we have five times the capacity for stone than anything else because of that extra wing that I built that is designed just for stone. So there's our quarry. You can see it's a bit... It doesn't render it completely from this range. Here's everything uh, getting itself built. It's all looking great. Thanks everybody for watching. Here we can see the uh, delightful last frame of industry in progress. This has been Dratnos. Goodbye.